Deputies are asking for help in finding a precious quilt made out of a fallen soldier's uniform. They say someone stole that quilt off the front porch of the widow's home. Orion Raish has the rest of the story. It's all I have left of him. This homemade quilt made out of the uniforms and pictures of this fallen soldier was supposed to keep his memories alive. Until you know what it's made of, you don't realize what it means. Sadly, Sergeant Daniel Frazier's widow, Brittany, hasn't even seen the finished product. A military mother in Wisconsin spent four months crafting the quilt and then shipped it away. Deputies say someone stole the package from Brittany's front door, thinking it may be valuable. It's not anything that I can replace. It devastated Brittany and the crafty stranger who made it. It was hard to even let the quilt go. I was feeling sad when I put it in the mail because I had grown s such an attachment to the family. These are the dog tags he had on. Brittany just moved this month from North Carolina to a home in Davenport donated by Homes for Our Troops. She's turning the living room into a shrine for her late husband, filled with mementos, plaques, medals, and even the flag that draped over his casket. Daniel Frazier was killed in Afghanistan back in 2009. It doesn't seem right to put away anything. The special quilt was going to top off the room, but now it's gone, along with the duffel bag of his precious uniforms used to make it. Deputies canvassed the area, but so far, nothing. Brittany suspects the thieves dumped it when they saw it wasn't worth any cash. I can't imagine his stuff being thrown away like that. To her, it's not the money, it's the memory. In Polk County, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.